Hello everyone, um, welcome to a video I haven't recorded in a long time, but today we're going to do a tutorial of how to code an 8-ball command and implement it in your Discord bot. If you don't have a Discord bot ready, you should probably watch a different tutorial so you know how to implement a Discord bot into your server and have it ready. So. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna do Python and then we're going to do client.command and then we're gonna do aliases and then we're gonna do eight ball. This will error for me because I'm on the new file. I'm not in like a pre-made Discord file. And then we're gonna have the aliases. And then next we're gonna do async def and then underscore eight ball. And then we're gonna do the parentheses with that. And then we're going to do responses with an equal sign. And then we're gonna add a bracket. And so just for the sake of saving time, we're going to do numbers, so we're going to do 1, 2, 3, and we're going to actually add quotation marks. 1, 2, 3, then add that, and then we're going to add another quotation mark, and it's going to be 4, 5, 6, add another one, 7, 8, 9, add another one. And then we're gonna do 10, 11, 12, add another one, and quotation marks, 13, 14, 15. And then we're gonna have this short little code because I'm not gonna make it super long. And then we're gonna go all the way here, and we're gonna do await ctx.send. We're gonna do parentheses, f, then a quotation mark. We're gonna do a backslash, do in, choice then semicolon then we're gonna do a fancy bracket and we're gonna name that random dot choice and then we're gonna do another parentheses we're gonna do responses and then a parentheses a fancy bracket and then a quotation mark and another parentheses so what this basically does is when you do the eight ball command Every time you do the bot prefix and then command, it's going to implement a set of these randomized numbers and it's going to tell you what it wants to do. So next, we're going to try to do something that isn't just 8-ball and we're going to basically put it in like our own cool command. So say I want the bot to do food commands but in 8-ball form and it's randomized. So we're gonna do client.command parentheses aliases equal sign in bracket quotation marks food and quotation marks bracket parentheses. And then we're gonna do async def underscore food. And then we're gonna do ctx and then colons. Then under that, we're going to do responses. Then we're going to do this equal sign brackets. And then say I want quotation marks serial. So we will get rid of that bracket. And I actually forgot to add the bracket at the end. So um, I actually don't know why it's not working, but whatever. So, we're going to add a, c a comma, and then we're going to do a yogurt, and we're going to do pizza, and then we're going to do um, fast food. Then under that, do await 
ctx dot send parentheses f quotation mark backslash n choice colon fancy bracket random dot choice parentheses responses parentheses fancy bracket quotation sign parentheses so when you want this you would just do this and instead of having an eight ball it you change it to food and then you put your own set of commands that you want set instead of numbers or whatever so and then obviously at the end you're going to do your client.run put your parentheses your comma put your token there and obviously you're going to want to put in your imports and your froms and all that stuff that you need for the bot so that is my video and that's how to do a basic 8-ball command and an 8-ball command where you can implement your own choices. Thank you for watching. Bye!